All right, so today I'm gonna to be running my TRX4. Now this does have four wheel steer. So uh, hopefully I can do, I'm gonna do a speed run on 3S. I got the Fusion Pro with a 1539 gearing. Here's this, here's this uh, GNS performance analyzer. You can see it moving right there. So we're gonna do track, start, stop, read, zero it out. Track, start. Again, this is a 2300 KV Fusion Pro. Um, I'm not sure if I can do a speed run because it might wobble a little bit because of the rear steer. But uh, we'll give it a shot and see. I'm guessing it's gonna be about 25 miles an hour maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Make sure I'm in high gear. Make sure the uh, satellite is on. And let's see what she does. See if I can keep it straight with, without wobbling. Oh yeah, she's got a little bit of a wobble because of the uh, rear steer. Out of curiosity, let's see what she did there. I'm guessing 25. So stop, read, 24. That's pretty good for a crawler. So again, track start. See if I can get a little uh, action coming this way. Set my trim, steering trim. Come on, there we go. She wants a wheelie, of course, all that. <laughs> Not bad for a uh, four wheel steer. And of course, here's that. There we go. Well, little steers make a huge difference on uh, <laughs> when you turn off four wheels. And then crab walk, of course. And then rear wheel steer. Wait for this car to pass. But I guess we can check the speed. Let's see what we got. I'm betting it's about 24, 25 again. So we'll go to stop, read. Yeah, 24 miles an hour, that's not bad. Again, 1539 gearing. So uh, I'll see how I can go with rear steer, how fast I can go. Because I know it's hard to steer with the... Uh... Here we go, let's see if we... I don't crash it. That's with rear steer, so she'll still go fast. And let's see. So stop, read. Yeah, 24. All right, so if you're still sticking around, I'll show you how I did the four wheel conversion. Pretty cool, pretty easy. Oh, well, I guess if you're still sticking around you wanna see low speed, probably. Let's go first gear. Let's do track, start. So this will be first gear speed run or low gear. Oh yeah, she's pretty slow. What do I have? Oh, rear steer. Oh, four wheel steer. Let's see what we got. Stop read. Nine miles an hour in low gear. All right, so you're still sticking around. I'll show you how this was done. Pretty easy. Now it does look stock for the most part. So uh, let me check the mortar temperature just out of curiosity. Oh yeah, she's nice and cool. All right, for those still sticking around, here's uh, how it looks. So besides the fan, because I chase the dog around, of course, so um, a lot of stop and stop and drag and all that stuff, which I have calibrated or adjusted everything. Um, 
But there she is, she looks pretty much stock, like nothing looks out of the ordinary. Except you'll see that there's a servo here in the back. So I did Dremel this out. You can go with a low profile servo, but this front one is also a Spectrum, as you can see. Uh, just because I had them and, you know, it was a free upgrade for me. Um, here we go. So, of course, the three link in the front. This is the front. And of course the rear also did a three link. So you can see I, well, this is the Bronco body or Bronco panels. So it is a clipless version. So you can see here that I adopted or adapted, sorry, adapted. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Hold on, let me zoom in for you. The pen hard bar or whatever you call it. I forget what it's called. Um, I put this little piece here and then to secure the panel I put a little piece that I 3D printed for here So of course it's a 3 link. Oh, I did print this. I was jumping it yesterday and uh, I hit the bicycle and it did bend that so um, I did change up these links of course But this is just pretty much a front dip from Jenny's RC and I got the linkage as well. But pretty basic, pretty simple. Of course, a servo. So I still have quite a bit of travel. As you can see, the shocks are all the way compressed. And that servo does touch this bar right here, barely. But it does compress all the way. So there we go. And I have a Fusion, of course, Fusion Pro. So pretty cool, I mean, very cool design. And obviously, as you can see, it does do 24 miles an hour in a straight line. So it doesn't, it didn't wobble like I thought it would. But uh, there you go, pretty cool. Oh, and for the controller, for the four wheel steer, I made an extension box to put the controller in here to keep it waterproof. It's a Mius, um, M-E-U-S, Four wheel steering controller, it was like 14 bucks off Amazon. And then, of course, everything works. You can see here stock transmitter. This controls the modes as well as the high and low. So, if you switch to high, it'll keep that mode low. But if you don't move it for a, several seconds, then uh, it doesn't affect it. So, there you go, and you can see high low moving there. And you can see the servo is working for the locking disc. Pretty cool. Uh, so if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video.